highlights I wanted to share featuring Kamala Harris's interview with Brett Baer on Fox News. And so the issue of President Joe Biden's cognitive decline came up. Let's see how that exchange played out. You told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experience to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe Biden, no concerns Brett, raised. Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, but is, you talked about it. And Donald Trump after is, George Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to Donald President Biden Trump, at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the same Brett, Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Donald Trump is on the ballot. I understand. You met with him at least once a week for three and a half years. You didn't have any concerns? I think the American people have a concern about Donald Trump, which is why the people who know him best, including leaders of our national security community, have all spoken out, even people who worked for him in the Oval Office. I'm going to let you take this one, John, before I jump. Yeah. Look, um, it's it's not a great answer in that it doesn't really hide the fact that she doesn't feel comfortable talking about it. Like you, you could believe that she's being honest and saying, in, in implying, not even really saying, implying that she doesn't think that Joe Biden has any issues going on. But I don't, I don't think most people believe that she believes that. So it's not a great answer in that way. And I look, I do think going so hard on it as as Brett Bear, it seems. Not irrelevant right now. He is the president, and there was sort of a cover up, but it's like it's getting in the territory of irrelevant. He's gonna be president for a few more months. She mm-hmm. might be, Donald Trump might be. I think it's a fair thing to bring up, and she is being evasive. So I think it's a little, it's like bordering on a waste of time, but I don't think it's unfair. I, Totally agree. It's not unfair. I think that it's a perfectly fine line of questioning. Kamala Harris should expect this question. And in fact, you know, I I totally hear your point about how this is irrelevant because Biden's not going to be in office much longer. However, what Brett Baer is trying to do here is show whether Kamala Harris is a dishonest actor who covered up. Biden's cognitive decline. Like that's the intention here. And look, I think that there are a lot of Democrats who did just that. I don't know what Kamala Harris knew. I don't know how close she's been to Joe Biden during the Biden administration. What I do know is there was definitely a concerted effort by the party to cover up the fact that Joe Biden was not fit to run for another term. Yeah. And it infuriates me. Like, Guys, everyone should be furious about the fact that that happened. Okay. If you are a hardcore, loyal Democrat, you're a card carrying Democrat. I don't know if there are card carrying Democrats. I know that there are Republicans who claim that they did that. But anyway, (laughs) you should be upset that that whole cover up put the Democratic ticket in a far worse position to beat Donald Trump. Because had Biden stepped down earlier or had Biden made the decision, hey, I'm not going to run for a second term, well, then that would have set up a far better situation for the Democratic Party to choose the best possible candidate and give the best possible candidate ample time to campaign and beat Trump. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so it like I I think it's definitely um, a legitimate question to ask. And I don't think she answered it well. Now, she did answer something really well. And apparently it was a question where she was kind of being baited into trashing certain people in the country. Apparently she didn't do that. Let's take a look. Why, if he's as bad as you say, that half of this country is now supporting this person who could be the 47th president of the United States? Why is that happening? This is an election for president of the United States. It's not supposed to be easy. I know, but it's if not it's supposed as- to be. It, it, it is not 
supposed to be a so cakewalk for So are they misguided, the 50 percent? Are they stupid? What, oh, what God, is it? I would never say that about the American people. And in fact, if you listen to Donald Trump, if you watch any of his rallies, he's the one who tends to demean and belittle and diminish the American people. He's the one who talks about an enemy within. within. Yes, there we go. That was smart. That I love that. I love that. That was smart. Don't trash voters. Like, don't scold voters. Don't shame voters. It's not, it's just a losing strategy, number one. And I don't like it. Like, I, I think she handled that really well. That was my favorite mm-hmm. answer from her. Yeah, I think? think that her her obligation and her strategy should be very different from you know other people, other people in the media or whatever. Like we might have to have you know tough conversations about different you know segments of the electorate and everything, but there's little reason for her to do it. Uh, yeah, she like again would would he ask the same question to Trump? I don't know, and, and I love that she points out like she she focused on the fact that he talks about the enemy within, which is I think the worst way that he talks about people who disagree with him, and he, he goes even further saying that like people who criticize judges should be locked up. Like he he wants to see people deported for protesting the war. He wants to see them locked up for exercising their free speech. Like that's terrible. But it's also like he'll just say you know. If you're if you're Jewish and you vote for the Democrats, you should have your head examined. Like that's rougher than just saying you're ignorant. He said that of, of black voters recently. If you're supporting yep. the Democratic Party, you should have your head examined. Um, look, you could say he's being folksy or whatever, but he's also being insulting, no. particularly when the vast, vast majority of those groups don't support him. He's talking about not just some of those groups, but the vast majority of those groups. And so I agree. I like I like the way she handled it much better. Yes, I, I, by the way, had mentioned on the show today that he said that black and Latino voters who don't support him should have mm-hmm. their heads examined. And it's like, no, you're not yeah. entitled to anyone's vote. Clearly, you haven't made your case to those individuals, right? My my favorite is when he goes after uh, Jewish American voters uh, for not supporting him because of all the wonderful things he's done on behalf of Israel. Like, it's so insulting to just yeah. assume that every Jewish American person in this country prioritizes Israel before they prioritize other things, you know, like policies that impact them in this country. <laughs> but all right. Yeah, the entitlement <laughs> drives me crazy. But let's talk a little bit about some of the initial reactions. Um, so, look, from the get go, the interview was met with uh, some pretty strong negative opinions, especially from Donald Trump, as we talked about earlier, and MAGA world, um, because I guess they didn't think it was a good idea to have her interviewed on Fox News. Now, remember, Trump especially has been sour due to a bad interview he had in 2023, where he called Brett Baer nasty and unfriendly. On Monday, he posted the following. Line Kamala Harris has wisely chosen Brett Baer of Fox News to do much needed to do a much needed interview because he is considered to be fair and balanced, though often very soft to those on the cocktail circuit. He's not, though. I mean, he was actually pretty not, I wouldn't say vicious, but like especially on the immigration. Uh, a line of questioning. He wouldn't even let her finish her point. He kept interrupting her. And then he did ask a lot of tough questions. Uh, I would have preferred seeing a more hard hitting journalist. Get out of here. But (laughs) Fox has grown so weak and soft on the Democrats, constantly polluting the airwaves with uh, unopposed Kamala representatives. Is that true? Is that true? Fox News has wall to wall interviews with Kamala Harris supporters. Is that really what's happening? I've never seen one, maybe. (laughs) Okay. Uh, But you guys get the point. He was upset about it. Now, some of Trump's supporters, unfortunately, jumped on the bandwagon, alleging that Fox News and Brett Baer, um, uh, that Fox News and Brett Baer would just go soft on her. By the way, like I personally know what this is like. We're about to have a conservative on, uh, whether it's, what was that guy's name? I not interviewed him, I ended up debating him. The guy with the the fake school. Kanye West. Prager. Yeah, Prager. Yes. Oh, there you go. Like Prager. People were like, "Why are you gonna have Prager on? How could you platform him?" I mean, because I want to have a little bit of fun, okay? Because sometimes you want to talk to people you disagree with, and you want to be able to challenge them or find areas of common ground. Like it's okay to have conversations with people. And when it comes to a presidential election, 
a place that refers to itself as a news organization is going to have to interview members of both parties. Like, come on. Yeah. But uh, hmm. I, I can't stand that mindset. Uh, but, you know, Brett Bear responded to a lot of them. Who cares? Point of the story is Kamala <laughs> Harris had some strong moments during that debate. And I think it's good that yeah. she decided to do it on Fox News because, you know, she's done a lot of very like friendly interviews and she was getting a lot of criticism for doing that and refusing some more of the hostile interviews. This interview with Brett Barrett was definitely hostile and he yeah. asked tough questions and I think she handled herself well from what we've I seen. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen the whole thing, but so far I think, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yep.